Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, finally. I've been wanting to do this forever, but I never really worked up the courage to do this because this is actually really nerve wracking, just like putting myself out there and not knowing what to expect, but I knew that if I didn't do it, I would regret it, so here I am. I'm super excited. My channel is gonna be about beauty and lifestyle and some skincare. I'm super obsessed with skincare and keeping my skin really healthy and glowy. And today's look is focused all on the skin and making it look really glowy and bronzy. Literally anyone can pull this look off. You'll go from like a potato, if you're like me, to an angel and I'm literally obsessed with it. It's perfect for summer. I hope you guys love it and let's get started. So I've already gone ahead and exfoliated and moisturized my face. So for primer, I already applied these two things just to kind of save time, but I used the Nivea Men um, Shave Balm, and I know it sounds kind of weird, but if you haven't heard about it on YouTube, it's a really good primer because it kind of gets sticky when it dries down, so it helps your foundation adhere to your skin better. And it also has like a satin kind of a finish, so it's not too matte. And then also I used my Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer, just where my pores are kind of larger. And then to finish off the priming step for an extra glow, I'm using my Mario Badescu Rose Water. This stuff, oh, you know, it's my mouth. But um, this stuff is amazing. Obviously, you guys have heard of it. What is going on with my eyelash extensions? So for foundation, I'm using two different ones. I'm using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless and the um, Too Faced Born This Way, just to kind of match um, my skin better because, I don't know, I just can never really find one foundation that just like matches my skin completely. So I just use two, and then to make it extra glowy, I'm gonna be adding in my Josie Marin um, Argan Oil, and this oil is just gonna kind of help sheer out the foundation so it's not like too full coverage. So just put that in my foundation mixture, just one drop. And then also, I wasn't kidding when I said this is my ultimate glow, I'm adding my Sephora, um, luminizing drops in ultralight and this is gonna add kind of like a sheen like an angelic sheen to like your foundation this is like my own little foundation concoction I love it so I just add one drop of that and then mix it all together I'm just gonna dot this all over my face and I know it looks like I'm putting a lot on but we sheared it out with um, the argan oil and also I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender or not beauty blender my real techniques makeup sponge and that's gonna help kind of absorb any excess foundation so it doesn't look too cakey and it looks nice and airbrushed so I'm just gonna blend this out and I'll be right back I don't know why the camera is like making my um, skin look like it's like yellow and like weird but I promise you in real life it looks perfect Perfect. I'm so obsessed. It's so dewy. Um, so for uh, concealer, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in light sand, and I'm only using a little bit because I just don't want it to be too like full coverage. But make sure if you apply it to your under eyes, like one place, you apply it everywhere, just so that the brightness is evened out all over your face. And I like to put a little on the sides of my nose because I get kind of red there. And then I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques. Uh, makeup sponge and just blend that out. So for contouring, I'm going to do a little bit of cream contour with my NYX Wonder Stick. Um, and I've been loving like using cream contour like rather than like powder. Just because I feel like cream kind of like melts into the skin better and makes it kind of look like your skin is just like one and like all airbrush. And I feel like powdery just kind of tends to stand out a bit more. So I've been literally obsessed with this. And this NYX thing is so good. It's really similar to the Clinique Chubby Stick if you like that. And this is like a much cheaper alternative. I'm literally obsessed with this. So yeah, I'm just putting it everywhere. You would normally contour. Um, down my nose. Just a little bit. Ooh, and then my favorite thing to do. If you're a potato, like me, you can contour your jawline. And then you'll look like Miranda Kerr, guys. I love makeup. This stuff is great. And it... I'm going to be using, instead of my um, uh, makeup sponge, I'm going to be using this Real Techniques brush just because it's more compact and I feel like it really just like blends it into the skin. It makes it look very natural. Like obviously you're wearing makeup so it's not like natural, but like the whole point is to make it look like 
this is like actually your skin and not like to look cakey and you know just blend basically okay so for highlight I'm just going back in with my Sephora luminizing drops and I'm just going to dot this along my cheekbone a little above my eyebrow and I'm just going to kind of blend that in with my finger because the warmth of your finger will kind of help the product melt into your skin more and I love 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 this Sephora stuff it's so good it's, it gives that like wet kind of um highlight instead of the powdery like glitter chunky glitter highlight and I'm like upset I'm literally obsessed with this you guys Ooh. oh and we're not done yet I'm gonna set this with some powder highlight too guys it's about to be lit I'm also gonna take this down the bridge of my nose a little on my chin cupid's bow everywhere guys I told you this was my ultimate glow. So now I'm going to set um, my face with a little bit of powder. If you have dry skin, you don't need to do this, but my skin can get a little bit oily. So I'm not going to set my entire face. I'm just going to set it where I tend to get oily a little on my forehead, tiny bit on my chin. And of course, you just always want to set your under eyes no matter what, just so it doesn't crease. My camera shut off for when I did my bronzer, but for bronzer, I used my... Um, Laura Mercier bronze in 03 and it's like this gorgeous warm um, shimmery color and here if you can kind of see um, and it just really adds like to the whole glowiness so for highlights I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier um, baked gelato swirl in gilded honey oh my gosh I'm sure like everybody that does makeup on YouTube has this but this is my all-time favorite. Um, it just like gives such a nice like wet um, look and like not like that powdery look. So I'm just gonna like, use this to set the uh, liquid highlight that I did and literally go all out on. Oh look at that! Ooh, oh my gosh, it's a little on the nose. Cupid's bow for sure. Chin. For blush, I'm just going to be using my So Susan Blush and Glow, and it's such a gorgeous, like, rustic rose. Well, yeah, the name's Rose Rust, so it's, like, the perfect name for it. Um, it has kind of a sheen to it, so it's going to add a nice little color to my face, as well as more glow. This is the ultimate glow, guys. Something I've been loving doing is taking my blush kind of in the bridge of my nose, and just like right here, like you know how when you go to the beach and you get sunburnt, like right here. Um, I just love that. I just love creating that with blush. I think it looks so cute and like flirty. So for eyebrows, I'm using my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. This stuff is literally one of my holy grails. I used to use the Anastasia um, Brow Wiz, but that was $20 and I'm a college student and kind of broke. And this is $9 and it does the same exact thing, literally. It's the same shape. The only thing is, is obviously the Anastasia is a little bit creamier, but if you don't mind spending like an extra like two minutes doing your eyebrows and this stuff is like thebomb.com. So I'm just going to set my eyebrows with some chapstick. I know this is really weird, but if you think about it, brow, um, the brow wax stuff from Anastasia, literally it's the same thing. Like chapstick has that waxy texture. So does chapstick. This is $2. The other one's like 12 Okay. You get it. Yeah, so this just literally makes my eyebrows, like, stay on. My eyebrows stay on? No, it just makes my eyebrows stay in place, like, all day. I'm obsessed. So before I move on to eyes, I'm going to set my face with, of course, my Mario Badescu rose water. And this is just going to add that last bit of glow and help set down any powder if you think you added too much. What is going on with my eyelash extensions? Ugh. Okay, so for my eyes, I'm using my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, and I'm just going to take Tempura and just dust this all over my eyelid, just as kind of like a base. I'm also going to put a little bit of Vermeer on my brow bone, just to like kind of highlight up there a little bit. This look is really easy. It's literally just three colors. I'm just going to take burnt orange um, first as kind of like my first crease color. And just honestly, you can use any kind of um, fluffy blending brush you have. I'm just going to put this in the crease and just kind of 
really blend it out and make it look very seamless. To add a little bit more definition and brightness, I'm taking this much brighter orange and I'm placing that a little bit um, tighter in my crease. And there's no like technique really to do this except for like blend well. Um, this is a really, really easy look. You're just kind of placing colors in your crease. I'm just gonna take a little bit of um, Primavera with my ring finger and I'm gonna pop it in the center of my lid just to kind of add a little bit of brightness and keep this look really glowy. So I'm just gonna take a small, more tightly packed brush and I'm just gonna go in with that same really dark orange color and I'm going to blend it in my lower lash line just to kind of like tie the whole look together. And I've been loving using powder um, as kind of like an eyeliner as opposed to like gel eyeliner just because I think it's so much more like smoked out and like fresh and bright. I just love this. So I'm feeling a little bit dangerous and I'm gonna add um, red ochre onto the bottom lash line as well just to kind of give my eyes more um, depth and make them stand out more. Ugh, I love this. Like any kind of like um, reddy, purpley, orangey colors look so great on green eyes. Like specifically purple colors are amazing on green eyes. Um, whatever is like opposite the color wheel to your eye color is like what you should go for. So for like blue eyes, like corally colors, um, purple looks really, really great with brown eyes as well. Um, so I'm just going to kind of buff this in to make it look um, really airbrushed and seamless and not so harsh. So to add a little more definition, I'm going to go in with an eyeliner brush and I'm just going to use this really dark um, brown. It's called Cypress Umber. And... I'm just going to pack the oh, whoops. I'm just gonna pack this on my on the outer third of my eye, just to kind of lift my eye and add a little bit more like volume to the end of it. I'm not gonna like wing it out or anything. This is just to add a little bit more definition. Literally just like the outer third, and you can kind of like bring it up a little just to kind of make your eyes more like cat-like. I'm just gonna take a little bit of um, Vermeer and kind of just go over my brow bone really quickly in case you like lost a little bit of that shimmer while you were blending and also take it in my inner corner of my eye just to kind of bring light and add more brightness to my eye. So now time for my favorite part, the glossy lids. I'm using um, my Rimmel Lip Gloss in Nonstop Glamour. You can literally use like whatever type of clear or nude lip gloss you have. You don't have to go out and buy like a $25 like gloss specifically for the lids. I know like MAC Cosmetics has one and a bunch of other um, makeup companies have it, but this literally works just the same and it's like $5. So I use this only for my eyes, so don't worry, I'm being sanitary. Um, just literally pack it onto your lid. Don't put it on your crease just because like when you're like blinking throughout the day, it could kind of transfer to your brow bone and then get like all like weird and like just not cute. So just keep this on your lid and use the lip gloss applicator to blend it out. Oh, I'm so obsessed with this. So my eyes are all finished and I'm so obsessed with it, you guys. Like, Oh my gosh. Um, I just went ahead and applied a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes, but I have eyelash extensions, so I didn't need to put any on the top. You can use whatever mascara you want. really doesn't matter. So lastly, I'm going to be doing my lips, and I'm going to be using my um, Rimmel London Exaggerate um, Full Color Lip Liner, Lip Liner, and it's this beautiful, like, mauve color, and it's just really going to tie in with the lip, or with the eyes and everything. So I just lightly lined my lips, didn't fill it in too much because I didn't want it to do like too much color. I'm just going to finish off with my NARS um, Dolce Vita lipstick and I'm just going to kind of gently pat this in the center of my lip. Okay you guys, so this is the final look and I am so obsessed with it. It's so glowy and fresh and oh my gosh, I'm so happy with how it turned out. This is probably like going to be my like summer go-to. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.